Year after year, home thermostats continue to evolve as more and more technology is built into them until now we pretty much have computers hanging on the wall, which makes it pretty hard to explain how they work. But in this video I would like to go back to the basics, to explain how a thermostat works and its purpose in a very easy to understand way without getting too technical. A home thermostat that controls your furnace and your air conditioner is actually very similar to a simple light switch. Its main purpose is to turn your furnace or air conditioner on or off. And in order to automate this whole turning on and off process, every thermostat has a built-in temperature sensor in them that measures the temperature in the room. And depending on whether the temperature in the room is going down or up, that triggers that switch to turn on or off automatically. One common misconception that I often hear from homeowners is that they believe turning up the temperature way high or way low will actually affect the temperature of the air coming out of their vents. So if they set it to 90 degrees, the temperature coming out will be way hotter. That is actually not true. Turning the temperature on the thermostat way up to 90 degrees is simply going to tell the thermostat to turn the furnace on and keep it on until it's 90 degrees in the room. So regardless of whether the temperature is set to 90 degrees or 75, the temperature coming out of the vents will remain the same. And the same exact thing applies to the air conditioner. The set point will only determine how long the air conditioner runs and not how cold the air coming out of the vents will be. One more thing I got asked quite a few times is what is the difference between a basic manual thermostat, a programmable thermostat, and a smart thermostat? A manual thermostat is as simple as they get like those old Honeywell thermostats with the dial on them, whatever temperature you set it to, it'll simply keep the temperature there all throughout the day until you move it or turn the unit off. So for example, let's say the thermostat is set to 72 degrees and it's summer outside so we're using the air conditioner. If the temperature in the house starts to get hotter than 72, that thermostat will automatically turn the air conditioner on, cool off the house until 72 degrees and turn the air conditioner off. And then the cycle just repeats itself over and over and over again to maintain that set temperature. The programmable thermostats take it a step further and allow you to set different set points throughout the day. Most of these digital programmable thermostats allow you to change the temperature four times a day. So the first time is wake up time, go to work time, come back from work, and go to sleep. Let's go over a programming example real quick. Let's say we're going to use the same scenario, it's summer outside and you have to wake up to work every single day at 5 o'clock. You can program your wake up time at 4.30 to bump the thermostat down to 70 degrees so that by the time you wake up at 5, it's already nice and cool in the house. And you have your breakfast, do whatever you need to do before work. Let's say you leave to work at 8 o'clock. You can set your leave to work time at 8 o'clock and make the thermostat go up to 73 degrees while you're not home. Usually you come back from work at about 5 p.m. so you can set the come back from work time to 4.30 and tell the thermostat to bring the temperature back down to 70 degrees so that by the time you get back home it's already nice and cool in the house. And since the nights are nice and cold, at 10 p.m. you can set your go to sleep time and tell the thermostat to go all the way up to 75 degrees during the night. And in this manner you can program the thermostat to automatically adjust the temperatures every day throughout the week. And last on the list are smart thermostats like this Amazon smart thermostat over here. And with smart thermostats, I like to compare them to phones. For example, a cell phone. The main reason for a cell phone is to call people, right? Originally when they made the cell phone, all it could do is just make calls. Later on they added text messaging, then they added internet, they came up with smartphones, they started putting more and more apps into them, and now we're pretty much carrying around a computer in our pocket. Smart thermostats are very similar to cell phones. Their main purpose is just to turn the furnace or the air conditioner on or off. But throughout the years, they loaded more and more features and trinkets into them, and now it pretty much became a computer hanging on the wall. Smart thermostats can connect to Wi-Fi. You can control them remotely from your phone. You can see different charts on them, different usage, how often the furnace came on or turned off, what the energy consumption is, etc, etc. Every smart thermostat brand will have slightly different features, just like different brand phones have different features on them, but I believe that year after year they're going to be loading up more and more apps and features into these smart thermostats that are going to just continually evolve. And that is the difference between the three different kinds of thermostats. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have anything else to add or if you have some questions about anything I said, please let me know in the comments below. And if you're still here and not in the comment section, let me tell you about my friend. 
The other day he goes to work and his boss comes up to him and says, hey, I was just wondering, I was curious, why is it that whenever you get sick, it's always on the work dates and never on the weekends? My friend thought about it and then says, you know, it must be my weekend immune system.